In this one, we're going to look at how to export the data we have in the application to a CSV or an Excel file and download it into our computer. This is how it's going to work. If I switch over to the application and I click on export to CSV and click search, just by clicking search, you'll have this file downloaded on your computer. And if I click on the file, you can see we have the content of the application in a CSV file. If you're not a subscriber and you enjoy videos like this, you might consider subscribing so that you will not miss our future videos. And all this will be in just three simple steps. The first step will be to create a export to CSV checkbox in forms.py. So copy step number one and head over to Sublime or your text editor. In the application, so we're gonna have a small checkbox right below the item name field so that we can select on it and click search. So that's the checkbox we wanna make. So the form I have here is the stock search form. So that's where I'm, I'm gonna create the export to CSV field. So just above the meta class, I'm gonna paste that code right there. And I'm gonna save it. All right, so I'm going to switch over to the application and click refresh. You can see that checkbox just appeared. It is currently a required field. We don't want that. I'm going to set required false. Required equals false. And I'm going to refresh to confirm that it is now false. So I'm going to move over to the next step. That is step number two. So in views.py, we're going to import a HTTP response and csv all right so i'm gonna copy this code and head over to views the py and paste it right here so we are importing http response and csv all right so i'm gonna save it and then move over to the last step that is step number three so that's the condition that will export a file if the checkbox is selected i'm gonna copy this code and in views.py so right in the list item view if the search is clicked if we click on the search button we want to test if the checkbox is selected the export to csv checkbox if it is selected then we will run this piece of code in that if condition i'm gonna paste another test right there that is another if condition within the search condition okay if the export to CSV is selected, that is, if the value equals true, we're gonna make a variable called response, and then we're gonna set it to HTTP response type of CSV, and we're gonna set the file name of that response to the list of stock the CSV. You wanna type the file name of the CSV file right here, okay? So we're gonna use the writer function, the CSV writer function. So we're gonna pass in the response and assign that to the writer variable. And now we are ready to write the data in the CSV file, okay? So the first line will be the headers, okay? So we're gonna have the category, item name, and the quantity as the heading of the columns, okay? So we're gonna do writer.write row. The first row will have these headings, okay? So we're gonna do a follow-up, so we're gonna look through the query set that we get from here that's the same query set that we are looping we're gonna set it to a variable called instance and then do a follow to check for every single item in that variable in the variable instance we're gonna do a write rule okay we're gonna write data on the csv file and this is what we're gonna write okay we're gonna write the category of the item we found in the query set we're gonna write also the item name and the quantity on the same line okay or on the same row we're gonna move over to the second row and then write the next stock that we get and then repeat that step number of times we have items in the query set so i'm gonna tap that in save it and then do a test but before i'm gonna run this code or before i'm gonna do a test i want to make sure that this category i'm gonna remove it from the site function i'm gonna cover that in another video right so right now it is a foreign key and that would not work with i contains okay so 
this right here i'm gonna remove it or i'm gonna just comment it and we're gonna fix it in another video i'm gonna save it and in models.py we had this export to csv we're gonna remove that line as well okay and i'm gonna set category to blank equals true so that it will not require us to select a category in this drop down list okay so i'm gonna set that to blank equals true so I'm gonna save it and do make migration and migrate. So refresh on the application and then click on export to CSV and click search. So just by doing that, we have our file downloaded. And if I click on the file, we have the content of the database on an Excel file. So this is how to do export to CSV in Django. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, click on the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next video.